What is going on guys? It is Mr. DTA416 here, back with another Titanfall gameplay. And uh, today I just want to sit back, relax, and have you guys enjoy a little bit of Titanfall in the background with me commentating, uh, talking about how I feel about Titanfall so far and, you know, the things that have annoyed me in the past week that the game has been out and the things that I've really, really enjoyed uh, playing with uh, in the past week. So, to start off, we're going to talk about gameplay and... You know, the different types of gameplay that you will experience when you go into Titanfall and, uh, you know, play it for the first time. So, uh, when I first got on Titanfall, the Tuesday at midnight, or Monday at midnight really, and then Tuesday obviously. Uh, Titanfall is crazy. I mean, the first, there's 50 levels uh, that you're going to have to go through to get to a uh, prestige. And you'll see in this gameplay I'm actually third prestige. And uh, I'll try and get to that a little bit later in the video. But, uh... There's 50 levels to prestige, and once you prestige the first time, uh, the next 50 levels, you have to get the 50 levels, and you have to uh, complete a set of challenges, and you have to do that after you get through the first 50 levels, the rest of the prestiges. Uh, so you'll see in the gameplay here, there's some uh, second generations, which the prestiges are called generations in this game. So, yeah, so that's uh that's about how the prestige system works and the kind of the gameplay uh, aspect to it and the you know all that fun stuff but uh, the challenges are usually pretty easy uh up until about fourth fifth prestige but uh the first two or three prestiges aren't really that bad uh, and you'll see me actually i'm in my prestige challenges right now oh no wait no i'm not in my, i don't know <laughs> i don't want to talk about the gameplay but uh the, you can go into your challenges and look them up but uh, yeah, that's a little bit about the uh, the prestige system in this game. It's not too bad, like I said. It's actually fairly decent. So uh, the the guns and stuff, I think the guns are pretty good. Honestly, uh, I don't know what they're going to do in their map packs, but I think that they should add some guns because uh, when I if I ever do make it back, going back to the prestige system, if I ever make it to the last prestige, I don't think the guns are going to hold me over for a couple months you know but uh, then again I don't know when I'm going to get the na the last prestige so it could be a while but um, yeah I honestly I like the guns in the game there's some good guns and you'll see me use the uh, CAR SMG which is the one I just picked uh, which is actually my favorite gun in the game and if you if you do end up uh, picking this game up or if you are already playing it I would honestly I would suggest using the CAR uh, SMG because it's a really good gun and I like to use HCOG on it if you're curious. And uh, it, it's honestly a really good gun. But uh, yeah, overall, all the other guns besides the CAR are really good. You got the LMG. You got uh, two assault rifles, which are pretty good. You got the R10, I believe it's called. Uh, carbine. And you have another one that's like an FAL from Call of Duty you might be familiar with. Uh, it's a, a single round burst, and it's uh, pretty good. I mean, it's a two hit, uh, two hit to the chest. So it's pretty effective. But... Overall, the game doesn't really have any overpowerful, overpowerful weapons, uh, OP weapons, you know. Uh, obviously, if you're in a Titan, your gun is obviously more overpowered than someone who's on the ground just running around like I am now. But when you get in the Titan, speaking of Titans, uh, you, you do feel like a god. I mean, you feel so overpowered. You feel like you can just blow up anything or smash anything or step on anyone. And it, it, you can actually do that. And that's what makes this game so interesting all the time. I mean, you're always experiencing something new when you're playing this game. And I, I honestly feel like this game will, won't get boring after I make it to the last prestige for a while. And that's one of the things I really didn't like about Call of Duty is after I got to the last prestige in Call of Duty, you know, after I pretty much finished the multiplayer, uh, I was just, you know, not really into it anymore because there was nothing really to do. Yeah, um, in Call of Duty, you could have went for the gold guns and stuff and all the challenges, but it really wasn't that exciting. So uh, in this game, I mean, you got just nonstop action. Every game you play, you get the Titans and stuff. And uh, you can, you know, go and uh, collect all the attachments pretty much for your guns. That's about it for the guns. But uh, you can collect all the attachments to your Titans guns and stuff. And it's pretty cool. The uh, the ca the campaign was pretty fun too. But I'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, but to finish off the Titans, I mean, the Titans like I'm in right now, you can see. Uh, I am just beast moding it up with the, uh, it's called the 40, 40 millimeter, And it's actually one of my favorite guns to use in a Titan. And uh, it's it's definitely one of my one of my uh, top five guns even though there's only like four guns in the game um, 
to use if you wanted to go on and try Titanfall for the first time. You know, if you wanted to, if you're not used to the game, like you just got an Xbox One or something, or you just got Titanfall and you haven't played it yet, the 40 millimeter honestly is probably the best weapon uh, for killing Titans. Uh, the chain gun is probably the best weapon to kill pilots, and uh, all the other guns are okay. There's a, a grenade launcher that I like. Uh, that's pretty good to kill Titans too. It doesn't kill them that fast, but uh, if you you know how to use it and you know how to dodge and weave around the Titans and stuff, it's actually pretty effective. Uh, now there's uh, three different types of Titans that I want to talk about, and uh, there's the Atlas, which is like the normal uh, Titan. There's the Ogre, which is the one I'm using right now, and then there's the Strider. Uh, the Atlas is, like I said before, is a normal Titan, just, you know, normal speed, normal everything, you know, kind of, just normal kind of Titan, you know. Uh, the Ogre, which is the one I'm in now, is kind of like a tank. It, you know, it, you can uh, charge its shield up, and you can just go around messing people up with it, and you can have a real fun time in it, but it's pretty slow because of all the armor it has on it. Uh, and the Strider is obviously, the one I haven't talked about, is the fast one, you know, it's fast paced. It's got a little less health in it. But uh, it's still a pretty good Titan to use if you're down for uh, speed and agility when you're taking on Titans. But uh, it, they all take a little bit to get ma uh, master them. So I still haven't mastered the Ogre yet because you have to be, you know, you have to outsmart your opponent. But you have to you know how to use that shield uh, advantage. So anyways, um, that's about it for the Titans uh, and the gameplay itself. Now... The, uh, the maps and stuff are pretty cool too. Uh, I like pretty much every map in this game. This map in particular that I'm playing on right now is not really that good. Uh, I do like it though. It's It's got some good gameplay aspects to it. You know, you know, different spots you can run and jump to like right there. Uh, different spots you can, you know, hide and snipe people if you're a sniper. You know, spots where you're an L uh, LMG person, long range or short range and SMG person. You know, it's got those spots. But a lot of the maps in this game have those spots, and that's another reason that I like this game so much, uh, because of all the all the aspects to it, you know, all the different uh, the maps and the gameplay you can have on this uh, on this game, you know. So overall, I think the maps are pretty good. I would I can't wait to see what they're gonna do with the first map pack. I'm hoping to be honest. I know the map pack's still far away is away. I don't know how far away, maybe two or three months, but um. I think that they should come out with now. This is just my opinion, but I think they should come out with a uh, like maybe one or two maps, maybe a new Titan or a new gun for a Titan and a new gun for you. Uh, so that's my opinion. What they should do with the map packs? I don't know what they're gonna do. You know, they might just come out with three maps or something like that, or they might be coming out with some kind of customization uh, thing for your guns, like camos or something, which are not bad, you know. But um, they are charging twelve dollars, so you're gonna get something in them besides camos. Uh, but uh, we'll wait to see. You know, that's another t that's another video for another time. But uh, yeah, overall, I'd give this game. You know, I honestly, I'd give it a, a four point five out of five. I think there's a couple of things, just you know, a couple of things that annoy me sometimes. Uh, the prestige system's one. I don't like the challenges. Honestly, I don't like the challenges. And then the prestige, to me, you know, the fifty levels prestige, fifty levels prestige, ten times is really not that bad. Uh, if they wanted to add. Uh, 50 levels they should have made more prestigious or made more or let or made the same prestigious the 10 prestigious more levels I would have been fine with that, but the the challenges are a little hard and uh, Going back to the prestige system real quick the uh, the challenges like I said before after the fourth uh, Prestige is actually pretty hard and it, you know You'll probably if you're not a decent player, you know, I'm not saying you guys are bad or anything I'm just saying if you're not that experienced those challenges are going to take you a while, and you might actually get stuck on the one prestige for a while. And if you're stuck on a, you know one challenge for a long time, it's going to get annoying, and you're not going to want to play the game. So in the end, you know the game might actually end up you know killing itself. So I don't know. I haven't had any real problems yet, like where I haven't want to played, or haven't wanted to play the game yet. But uh, you know, we'll see. I do get bored with games pretty fast, but uh, I haven't been bored with this game yet. It's actually put some injury on me. Uh, my thumb actually hurts from playing this game so much. I went through three prestiges in one weekend, so in two days I went through three prestiges. So I played this game quite a lot, and this is one of my games from the weekend. So, uh, yeah. 
Uh, and real quick, I just want to talk to you guys quickly about the grunt system and the specter system. So uh, in the game, you have the six on six, you know, style gameplay where you verse six people and they, they verse you, obviously. So it's a 12 man game. And then you have the grunts and specters. And you'll see me occasionally kill these little robots. And those are called specters. And uh, they're a little harder to kill than grunts because they have a little more health because they're robots. But uh, the grunts uh, difference from the, or the, I mean the specters difference from the grunts is the specters will actually try and take your titan out and stuff and they'll actually shoot back at you. But I feel like the grunts are a little are easier to kill and they won't really shoot at you that much. And that is a little more helpful to me because sometimes I'll be just running around the map and I won't see anybody but I'll see like a group of grunts or a group of specters and I'll walk up to them just you know completely kill them and get you know 150 points or whatever it is to kill all five specters or all four specters or all five grunts or whatever and uh, it'll, it'll feel a little satisfying it'll give me a little XP so um, it's it's pretty good and I, I think that it's a good thing for uh, this game considering how big the maps are and stuff it, it keeps things going and stuff too and that's what I really like you know non-stop gameplay you know I don't get bored when I'm playing the game um, and some of like that so to me it really helps out the system and you'll hear a lot of uh, youtubers and stuff who've played the game say that the grunts and the specters are actually not that good for the game but uh, they really are, and I mean, if you're not experienced enough to go around and kill people who have played this game a million times, or whatever, like like me, no, I'm just joking. But um, if you if you're on a team where your team is horrible and the other team is really good, the grunts and the specters really do help, and they and they make it so you actually have fun while getting your ass kicked. <laughs> so um, yeah. So anyways, that's what I have to say about Titanfall after the first week of the game being out. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, my Twitter and Instagram will be in the description below if you wanted to go follow me on any of them. I tweet about everything school related. I tweet about YouTube videos related, uh, all sorts of things. If you're into The Walking Dead, I tweet about that stuff too. <laughs> um, Instagram, I just post whatever photos. If you're down to follow me on Instagram, if you have an Instagram, you want to follow me, go ahead, follow me. I don't care. I'll, I'll make sure I accept you guys uh, because I have it so you have to be accepted. So anyways, I'll accept you guys. Don't worry about that. Um, but anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you've enjoyed this Titanfall video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more. And I'll definitely be bringing you guys the fourth generation, third generation, all the other generation videos. I'm out. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.